I used to work at Applebee's as a waitress a couple of years back when I was younger. I worked there in total for about six months. For the most part, I liked the job right up until the end, and I would make decent money in tips. The reason that I quit, though, has caused me to not want to work at a restaurant again. During the time that I worked there, I lived in a small apartment, which had a door that opened right up to the outside. Out of nowhere, I woke up one night to hear somebody knocking on my front door at 3 o'clock in the morning. Obviously, this couldn't be anything good. The knock was a fast and steady knock, which lasted for about 20 seconds before it stopped. I got out of bed and walked over to look out the peephole. By the time I got there, though, whoever had been there was now gone. I was a little creeped out by this, but after a while, I was able to go back to bed. Several nights later, though, the same thing happened again. Once more, by the time I looked outside, whoever had been there was gone. This ended up happening several more times. Each time, I would get a knocking on my door at 3 a.m., and by the time I would look outside, nobody would be there. It would happen at very random nights, too, so I never knew when to expect it. Then, one night, as I was working at Applebee's, it was like any other. It was maybe 10 p.m., when a man came in by himself and was sitting at a booth in the corner. I ended up being his waitress, and he was just like any other customer for the most part. He was quiet, but nothing stuck out to me. But when he left, I went to clean his table, and I saw on the receipt he left at the table something was written on it. It had written that he knew where I lived, and he was watching me. I immediately showed the note to co-workers, and I had to believe it was the same person who had been knocking on my door late at night. I made sure to leave with a co-worker in case the guy was watching me in the parking lot or something. I went to the police that same night with the note, but after that, the man never knocked on my door at night again. There wasn't really anything that the police could do. I quit shortly after that. Looking back, I have a lot of questions. I don't know why the man left me that note, and I don't know why he stopped knocking on my door. Maybe he knew I had gone to the police somehow, but I'm just glad I haven't seen him again. About a year ago, one of my best friends from back in high school was in town. He lived far away, and me and him met up at Applebee's just like old times. We would always go to half-price apps when we were younger, and that's what we were doing on this night. Once we got there, we sat down in a booth and began catching up. It was great to see him again, but shortly after we had ordered, I noticed he was looking out the window, and then he pointed. He said, hey, isn't that your car? I looked out the window to where he was pointing at. From where we were sitting, you could see out into the parking lot, which didn't have too many cars in it. I noticed that there appeared to be a man standing on the other side of my car doing something to it. It looked as though maybe he was trying to break in, so I said I would be right back, and I got up. I then ran outside to the parking lot. By the time I got outside, I didn't see the man anymore. I walked over to my car and examined it. It was still locked, and nothing seemed to be different about it at all. I looked around the whole parking lot and the nearby surroundings. The man was definitely gone now. I went back inside the restaurant to my friend. He told me that as I was going out the door, which was at an angle that I couldn't see the parking lot really, the man looked over to the window and then ran off. It sort of creeped me out to hear that, but I was glad that he was now gone and my car was okay. Over time, I forgot all about it as we were talking and eating. Afterwards, we went back to our cars and went our separate ways. I drove back home, which was about a 10 minute drive to my little house I lived by myself in. I pulled into my driveway on a quiet street and my car came to a stop. As soon as I did, I was about to go inside when I suddenly saw bright lights of headlights behind me. I looked to see three separate cars suddenly pulling up from around the corner and all screeching to a stop blocking my driveway. I was basically halfway outside my car door and I scrambled to run inside my house. Cars must have had their brights on, because I was nearly blinded as I ran to my front step. I got to my front door, unlocked it, and then went inside. I then locked the doors right behind me. I didn't hear anybody get out of the cars, but I started to hear almost constant honking. This went on for more than a minute straight, before I heard a car door open and shut. I got out my phone to call the police, but before I even placed the call, I heard a door shut again, and then screeching tires and cars speeding away. I went upstairs, which had a good view of outside, and I looked out the window. I saw that all of the cars were now gone, and the street was now quiet like usual again. The cars never came back after that. 
I think they might have been connected with the guy that was messing with my car in the parking lot earlier. But what was going on there? I have no idea. I'm a female, and I used to go to Applebee's all the time with my friend group. It was sort of our hangout spot to go to, especially late at night. I remember that for a while we were going on pretty much a weekly basis, and sometimes even more than that. I probably had just about everything on the menu. When we would go there, we would always seem to have the same server, which was a guy with blonde hair and glasses. He would often make small conversation with me, and my friends would always give me a hard time that he liked me. To me, though, he came off as a bit of a creep, and I'm not sure if it was the things that he said or what, but he gave me a bad feeling for sure. After a while, we didn't go to the Applebee's for a length of time. There was no particular reason why, other than some of my friends were just really busy at the time, and we didn't hang out as much. One day, I was shopping at the store when a guy came up to me. I turned around and looked and saw it was the same guy who worked at Applebee's. I didn't recognize him at first in this setting, but he said hi to me and explained who he was. He then said it was funny to run into me here. He told me that he hadn't seen me at Applebee's in a while and asked why. I told him that yeah, we haven't been there much recently and that my friends were busy and stuff. He then asked me if I would like to join him in his shopping. I told him no, I was just leaving and then I left the store. But as I walked out to my car, I was almost there, when I happened to look behind me. I saw that the guy was leaving the store too. After I got to my car and got inside, I watched the man get to his car and then sit inside of it. He was way on the other side of the parking lot, but I could still see the car pretty clearly and I could just barely see him inside of it. He seemed to be just sitting in the car and looking in my direction. This went on for about five minutes and I thought it was really weird. I thought he had a lot of shopping to do, and he was now just sitting in his car watching me. I was getting even more creeped out by this guy, and I backed out and left the store. As I reached the end of the parking lot, I looked in my mirror, and I saw that he was leaving too. For the whole drive back home, I was looking behind me to make sure he wasn't following me. I never saw him, so thankfully I don't believe he did. Fast forward a couple of days after that though, I was leaving my house to go to the gym when I walked outside. I happened to see a car parked on the side of the road with someone inside of it. The same guy was sitting inside his car and looking at me. As soon as he saw me, he started up his engine and drove away. Since then, I haven't seen him. But I do believe that that man had been stalking me, and stalking me for a while at that. I think he didn't follow me home that day because he already knew where I lived. It really creeps me out, and I hope he hasn't still been stalking me. We haven't been back to that Applebee's lately because of this, and instead, Go to one on the other side of town.